Melanie and welcome to Simple Made Pretty. Today I wanted to share with you guys a few farmhouse decorations that I made recently using Dollar Tree supplies, um, particularly this Dollar Tree ladder. Um, I do have another post sharing two other size ladders that I made using um, dollar store items, but this one actually is a little bit bigger. And then I'm also gonna share how to make these cute little buckets made from Dollar Tree buckets and some other buckets as well. Um, I shared these recently on my Instagram and then I noticed a lot of people replicating them. So I wanted to get a video out there as soon as possible so that you guys can make them too. And if you do make these products, um, I would love for you to share your creations with me. You can tag me on Facebook or Instagram and I'll share your images that you share with me to my followers. Also going to include a quick tutorial on how to make this Dollar Tree farmhouse sign. I don't think I've ever posted a video on YouTube, so I'm going to get that included in this video. And then this cute little gnome, um, he's also made out of Dollar Tree products. And I have a feeling that everybody's going to want one of these in their house come Christmas. So let's get started. For this first DIY, we're gonna be making the white farmhouse buckets that you saw on the ladder in the last video. I took some um, Dollar Tree sand buckets. I chose yellow, but you can choose any color. And I painted them with white chalk paint, and I used a brush, but you can also find uh, white chalk paint in a spray paint version at Home Depot or Lowe's, and I've actually already had some of my followers recreate this craft and they've used just regular old white spray paint for plastic. And then I used a black chalk paint um, for the top and for the handle. And again, I've had other followers recreate this and they used a black acrylic paint. So you can get away with using whatever you have on hand. And then I used some alphabet and number stickers found at the Dollar Tree. I used a variety of sizes just to kind of come up with this number two farmhouse look. And you can see I'm using a flathead screwdriver to apply the numbers. It just makes it a little bit easier to apply using that tool so they don't stick to my fingers. And then I took some ribbon that I found at the Dollar Tree and wrapped it to my ladder. And so for these buckets, they come in a package of three. I use the same tutorial that I did in the last post, except these are smaller buckets. Um, and I use the same linen chalk paint to paint the exterior of the buckets. You don't need to paint the interior because these buckets were already white. And then once that chalk paint was dry, I took the charcoal chalk paint and I painted the sides and the top of uh, the handle with this chalk paint so it kind of gives it that enamel uh, look that I was going for and farmhouse look and it doesn't have to be perfect you can have it a little bit distressed and then once that's dry I took some small alphabet stickers and I just came up with some farmhouse phrases that I put on these buckets you can have your phrases you know, whatever you wanted to say, depending on the holiday or season and the time of the year, I just stuck with some simple farmhouse words like blessed, thankful, farmhouse. Uh, these would definitely look cute as organization buckets in an office or a bathroom if you wanted to put um, office supplies in them and then label it with these stickers that would look cute. And here it is on my tea towel ladder and my farmhouse tray in the background. For this next DIY, I found these three different sizes in this stainless steel bowl at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just showing you how I painted one of them using the same technique as the last two um, videos where I just used chalk paint and then black chalk paint on the top to create an enamel look. And then I just added some alphabet stickers to create a cute little farmhouse style bowl for my farmhouse decorations. Now here's the fresh cut flower sign. I shared this, oh my goodness, seems like ages ago on Instagram and I never got around to posting it on YouTube. So I'm concluding that tutorial in this video for you guys. So basically I found this I think it's a 10 by 10 frame at Dollar Tree. 
I took out the glass insert and I just threw it in mine away um, in the recycling bin because I plan I didn't plan on using it. And I cut a piece of white foam board to fit inside the frame and then I painted the entire thing with chalk paint. And then I took some alphabet stickers found at the Dollar Tree and I cut mine out. And when, and when you're cutting them out, you do want to separate the, the strip of alphabet um, stickers because they are kind of together. You don't want to cut out other letters. Um, but I cut out the letters so that I didn't have to stick them directly onto the foam board because once they're stuck down, they're really hard to remove. So I just cut mine to see exactly where I was going to be placing it on the foam board. And then um, once I placed them all on the foam board, I just took some of my linen chalk paint and started distressing the letters over top of it to give it kind of that farmhouse look. And then I took my black Sharpie marker and added some more distressing to the frame. Um, I don't know if you've seen these signs on Instagram, but there is a larger version of this sign that costs $44. So this is basically what I was trying to mimic in this DIY. And there you have it. It was only a few dollars to make this cute sign versus spending $44. Okay, so this DIY, we're gonna be making some gnomes. You're going to need some of this white fur, which you can find at Michael's, um, some fabric, some socks. I use sand um, as my weight and for the body of the gnome, but you could also use dried beans or dried rice. I've even used dried cherry pits. And what I did was I placed the sand in a cellophane bag you can also find these at Dollar Tree. And I use the little twisty ties that come in the cellophane bag um, container to wrap that um, sand up. And you can also find the sand at Dollar Tree. And then I manipulated the bag to fit inside of a white sock. And I think this is just a, a kid's sock um, or even a woman's sock that you can find at Dollar Tree. And um, then I just used this twisty tie to tie that sock and closed and then I took the fur that I found at Michael's and I cut it into four uh, different pieces so you just fold it in half and then fold it in half again and cut it and so that basically allows you to make four gnomes um, out of that fur and then I used, used my glue gun to glue the fur to the top of the sock and then I also have this wooden ball you can find these at Michael's um, the Dollar Tree does have wooden balls if you wanted to do the colored ones. And my wooden ball did have holes in the side, so I kind of manipulated the fur so you didn't even see the holes and, and glued it down. But they, um, you can find wooden balls without the holes at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And then I just took a piece of fabric that into, cut into a square and folded it kind of like a triangle hat for my gnome and since I knew this was going to be a permanent hat for this guy I used my glue gun to glue that fabric down and then I just placed his little hat on his head and you can do these in fun little fabrics and colors like I did for every season and holiday and lastly I'm sharing just this quick tutorial that I did for the larger version of the paint stick farmhouse ladder. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need, I think it's about 10 um, three pack sets of the five gallon paint sticks, which you can find at Home Depot or Lowe's or Walmart. And I've been told by my followers that some stores will even give you these paint sticks for free. Um, and then what you'll do is you're, you're just gonna glue all three of them together and you can see here, I didn't cut the ends off here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, six sets that are not, the ends are not cut off. And then there's four sets, which their ends are cut off and those three sticks are glued together. And then I also took some regular size paint sticks and I used them as a supporting piece where the legs connected together and I glued them. Now, I just used tacky glue. You could use wood glue, whatever glue that you have that's pretty sturdy. Um, I don't recommend a glue gun. You need something that's gonna be, uh, something that's gonna last you. A glue gun might break off. The glue will break eventually. 
And then once you have the glue is completely dry, like you want to be able to pick this guy up and take it outside to paint it or stain it. And then I also added um, some staples just to support the pieces um, together on this ladder. On my other ladders, I didn't use the staple gun. I just used the glue. But for this one, because it's bigger, I did staple the ends together. And here I'm just showing you how I styled it with some blankets. It's... It is a lightweight ladder, but it still can hold um, quilts and lightweight or heavy blankets if that's how you want to style it. Or you can do my other trick where you hang baskets or the buckets from it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'd love to hear what you thought in the comments. Bye!